Hey guys, it's John. And Kimmy. And welcome to a new playthrough. So we just finished the Danganronpa trilogy and we are starting something new, but very similar called uh, the Zero Escape trilogy, beginning with Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. This game originally came out for the Nintendo DS, but it was ported to PC. Ooh, So we're ported. playing the PC version. Um, if you like Danganronpa, you'll probably like this, but it is different. Um, I've played it through myself. I've, I've seen it all, but, uh, Kimmy, no, don't start it. It might have spoilers, but Kimmy has no <laughs> idea what she's walking into. Not a single no, idea. No idea. So this will be completely new for her as it will be for you. So, all right, let's Huzzah! go ahead and get started. This game is fiction. That, that doesn't matter. There are two modes of play. Which mode it, are we playing? We're playing adventure. Novel okay. is just text. Don't so. y'all want to hear us read forever? Oh yeah, we, we won't be voice acting as much in this playthrough because a lot of the voice acting is done for us. Are we on the Titanic right now? I don't know. I'm kidding, it looks like a boat. Or a, yeah, it's a boat. Ghost ship. Did you ever see that? I did. Ghost ship was terrible. I know, it was great. Hmm. We're on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> a loud noise startled Jun 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 Junpei. Junpei. A loud noise startled Junpei awake, and his eyes snapped open. What? What the? As they adjusted to the light, he realized that he didn't recognize his surroundings. Oh, sorry. Ow! With a crack, Junpei's head connected with something metal. He rolled over and threw out his hand to steady himself, but he found himself groping at empty air. Ew, don't grope! His balance lost and his still fuzzy mind struggling to understand what was going on, Junpei tumbled down the cold gray floor. He tumbled down two. He didn't tumble down. Ow, God damn it! Ah, what the hell? Language. He's okay. very startled. I fell pretty far. That really hurt. That was Damn. a triple decker bed? Sight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. No, wait. That's not it. An earthquake. But it, it's shaking too fast for that. Uh, anyway. That's the moment you say anyway? Yeah. An earthquake? Nah, it can't be that. There's a lot of moments <sighs> like that. Am I? Well, we're gonna have to come back to those triangles Wait, later. It stopped? What's that sound? Dude, you're on the Titanic. You're That's... about to die. Five? What's this five mean? Why do you think it's the Titanic? It's just a boat that a lot of people know about. It's literally all it is. Ah, it won't and it open. sucks. It sank. What's this? Uh, is this keeping the door shut? Hey! Hello? Is anyone there? Open the door! <sighs> huh? <sighs> what the hell is this? A watch? It doesn't look like one. Five. That's... that's the same as the door. What? How do I take this off? Maybe pushing something on this will work? Nothing. Damn. Guess I'll have to force it off. No good. This stupid thing oh, won't come cool. off. Whoops, what the hell is the deal with this thing? Where am I? And why the hell am I here? Why? What the hell happened to me? He, he keeps going. Whoop. Ah. Ah, my head. Huh. This is... Hold on. Uh, am I on a ship? Uh, I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. Huh? What the... Oh, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. What the... What the hell is going on here? What the hell? God damn it! 
freaking called it. Titanic. We're on a ship. Hey, anyone? Is anyone there? Come on, if you're there, say something. It's, it's not stopping. Not good, not good at all. Okay, I need to find a way out and fast. It's an escape room. It is an escape room. Yep, okay, so this is our first escape room. First? Yep. There will be more to come, people! So, you know, just real quick, you know that one room in Danganronpa 2 where we switched characters? Was it in the fun house? Yes. Yes. Go okay, ahead. never mind then. No, no, no. Never mind. What? No, Kimmy hates it. No. I don't hate it. What? It, it was supposed to be an homage to this game. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. It is pretty cool, isn't Fine. it? It's not cool. Kimmy it's hated stupid. the fun house. It's stupid. All right, let's go. We're joking, by the way. I'm not. Shut up. <laughs> okay, operations during an escape. We do not have time for this. During an escape, you are restricted to an area. Your goal, search around to uncover how to unlock the door. There are items and hints in the room that will help you escape. Click on a location you find suspicious to search the room. The triangles. Use Q or E to move around the room. Oh, so we can walk around? Uh, sort of. It's like oh. fixed perspective like okay. this. Let's go, yeah. go to the triangles on the mirror. Okay, Kimmy really wants to the triangles. About items. Once you've obtained an item, you'll, you'll be able to go to the item screen. Clicking item on the top left will take you to the item screen. Menu. So this is what we just picked up. Okay. The notes got red triangle Bill. in red and blue triangle in blue. And that's all we know so far. But we can rotate it. It looks like that's all there is to it right now. Huh. Okay. Investigate with an item. The item visible in the lower left is the item currently in hand. So we're car carrying it around. Okay. Yeah. When you close the item screen, the last selected item will be in hand. Okay. If you hold an item while investigating the room, you may trigger a reaction. Try switching out items in hand and search different places. Click the item icon or press V to quickly change between items. Oh, cool. Okay. So it's the only item that we have though. Okay, can we click on the picture of the boat? <clears throat> picture frame. An old picture frame. There's a picture of a ship in it. Uh-huh. There's screws keeping the back on. Screws? Yeah. Well, let's take those screws off. Well, with what? <coughs> we'll have to find a tool. Can we click on that chalkboard? A bulletin board. Oh, okay. There's nothing on it. Cool. I got. I got to remember how to. I've never tried to voice act as Junpei, so I'm gonna try to try to do it. He has a very distinctive style. There's a towel next to the sink. He says things like that. <sighs> Doesn't seem like there's anything hidden on the sink. <sighs> this is the only drain in this room. Okay. Let's so, leave. I think we're done here. Uh, yeah. Um, all right. Well, I'm kind of I'm kinda be, gonna be clicking on whatever you want me to click on. Let's go to the right. Okay. Kettle. Kettle. Yeah. Well, let's see if there's anything in here. Huh? Looks like there is. A blue key. A key. <laughs> key. Yeah. There's a little blue key in the bottom of this pot. Odd. This guy wants to drown. <laughs> he wants to die. This key's pretty small. Definitely not for a door. What's it for then? This key's blue. <laughs> Is it supposed to open something else blue? Sure. Okay. All right, let's go back. And let's go to that briefcase. You're not streaming, you don't, you don't gotta sing. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> I did just finish streaming, so. <sighs> No dice. It's locked tight. Let's see if there's anything in the keyhole. <laughs> blue key. <gasps> All right. Let's see what happens if I put this blue key in this keyhole. And nothing. So we got to find the 
the numbers. I guess I'm gonna need some sort of code for the dial. Yeah, no shit. Mini games. During an escape, your investigation may trigger one of several mini games. All operations for the mini games are done by clicking the screen. Some mini games will require you to manipulate something, while others will only require you to reply the right object or click the right thing. Uh, clicking the dial will cause it to move to the next number. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, we get it. Yeah. Th <laughs> if it's right, it'll unlock. Yeah. If it's right, you'll win. Oh, Damn it. Damn it! Open, you stupid thing. Such language. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna open if I whack it on the wall a couple times. Hey, wouldn't hurt to try. Might make me feel better. <laughs> yeah. Not gonna help, though. All right, Junpei, don't freak out. Keep it cool and look around for some more clues. Thanks, Junpei. Okay, so. Is that a curtain? It is. Okay, let's open it. <gasps> the red, red briefcase. Red briefcase. We need a red key. We sure do. All right, it's a closet. It's a closet. Drawers? Drawers? Are those not drawers? Oh. Oh no, okay, Can't it's click. the wall. Can we click on the pillows? Oh, it's the door to the stove. Well, it opens easily enough. Sure wish the door to get out of here was that easy to open. <laughs> <gasps> Screwdriver. Yeah, Screwdriver. I use it on the picture frame. Sorry. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be anything special about it. Okay, yeah, so Good. you Goodbye. just go to combine and then... Mix and match. Well, the screwdriver got those screws off easily enough. And here's the picture. Hallelujah, does it have a code? Picture of an old cruise liner. Beautiful. <gasps> there it is. Okay. Square. Right? Oh, uh, maybe that leads to the door. And then these are colored. So the oh. one through five are... are uh, so six is blue, seven is red. Eight right. and nine don't have colors. Right. Because so, they're filled in. So it's seven something, six something. Six something, seven something, right? We'll relook at it in a okay, second. Okay, that sounds good. So someone wrote a bunch of numbers and symbols on the back of the picture, huh? Okay, so let's look at it again. I had to do this a bunch. Okay, like, keep looking so at it. it's uh, four, so something four, something, something three. three. Four, so four, three, got it. And then so it's seven, seven four, four, six, six three. three. Got yeah. it. Yeah, thank you. Maybe this is something to do with the relationship between the symbols and the numbers. Okay. Seven, four, six, three. Select combine on the item screen. Okay, it's telling us how to combine. Which we already, I mean, we already did it. A screwdriver, huh? I wonder why that's here. Okay. Blue. Briefcase. You want to try it now? Yeah. All right, let's give this another try. <laughs> okay, so seven, seven four, four, six, three. Yeah. Nope. What? It's not right. Fine. Oh, Bye. We might, need, we might need some more. We need more information. All right. Can we go under the pillows? Yeah, yeah, I know there's a blue briefcase. I can keep looking till the cows come home. All I'm gonna find up here is that pillow. Is he from here? Is he Damn from it. Texas? Isn't there anything else I can use? Yeah, I don't know why they said till the cows come till home. Till the towels? Till the towels? Till the cows come home. Now there All is right. there is another. Uh... Let's look at it. I can't bring myself to call this a bed. It feels like a board with a sheet on it. Not the time for comments. It's pretty flat. Yes. Hmm. So these these are uh, the squares. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, gotcha. Interesting. So, so that's zero. So yeah, so whenever we fold them, then the blues go together and the reds go together and that goes to the briefcases, right? Um, hang on. Okay, yeah, zero, zero, two. Six, uh, no, zero, seven, two, eight, five. Eight, five, zero, two, oh. eight, five, okay. But we should, we should keep looking around. Cause we still need the red key. Yeah, we do. What's that board over there? This? Yeah. Oh. It's a mirror? 
Oh, I had a there's blanket a, on top. There's okay. a red clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We found the red key. So that's yeah. Good. Should probably hold on to this key. Thank you, Junpei. Huh. He's a helpful what, sort. What's up with my face? I look like a zombie. Man, what the hell happened to me? How did I end up here? I left work, headed back to my apartment, and... And... Now you're about to drown. Get, get it. I'm back. <laughs> Not like anyone will respond. He's remembering uh, how he got man, there. Work was rough today. This is a good time to do this. Huh? A breeze. Huh, that, that's weird. Did I leave that open? Hmm, everything looks okay. I must have forgotten to close it. <laughs> what? Who are... <laughs> I... I can't... Consider this a privilege. You have been chosen. You are going to participate in the game. The memory game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. Do, 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 do. It's like a serious Monokuma. The guy with yeah. The gas mask. That son of a bitch must have taken me here. When I get my hands on him. Well, I, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not. Oh. Just who was Equality. that? Equality. They said you have been chosen. What the hell is going on? Why me? You are going to participate in the game. The memory game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. The nonary game? Huh. What the hell is a nonary game? God damn it! All right. Well, we're back. We're back to it. Now let's not drown. There's nothing left on the mirror. <laughs> okay, what's up with this five? Five. Five, huh? What does that mean? <clears throat> I guess that's a lever, huh? Oh my god. Maybe if I pull it. <laughs> Dead. Well, looks like pulling on the lever just makes a weird noise. Great. The light's still red. And the display hasn't changed. Damn it! Why the hell isn't this thing opening? Open the briefcases! Okay. I was gonna yell at him the whole time. I'm not yelling at you. You wanna try the red one? Sure. This is just like the blue briefcase. Yup, there's a lock on this one too, and it's not opening. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. All right, let's stick that red key in there. It's not opening. In fact, it's not doing anything at all. Well, all right, I take that back. I guess I can move the dial now. Great. So, looks like I'm gonna have to put in the right numbers and then turn the key. I do that, this thing should pop right open. Let's give it a shot. Oh my God. Can we look at the notes? Uh, not while we're in here, unfortunately. Okay, um, so I think it would be, hold on, I think we can do this. It would be six, three, zero, or was it, or was it square blue? The square was blue, wasn't it? Um, let's just take a look Ooh. at him real quick. Yeah. Damn, it's not opening. Yeah, where am I gonna get a hint? Okay, so. Oh, I was so wrong. <laughs> Okay, so we've got this note, which is red to blue. Yeah, so we need to know the first two. And then we need to match them with the red two on the other one. Um, right? So this goes from red to blue. This goes from blue to red. So if you were to fold them in half and lay them next to each other so that you mm -hmm. only have blue and you only have red, wouldn't that give you the code? So, red would be uh, something four something seven five. four, yeah seven four something five. 
eight five. Seven four eight five. So you want to try that? Yeah. And if that's not it, I'm gonna be really sad. Be really sad. Shut up. I'm right. It worked! Ah, uh, thank God. Yes! Did you see me getting ready to be upset? <laughs> I unlocked it! Hallelujah! We have solved the puzzle! <sighs> it's opening! It's a bomb! Oh. These look like key cards. There's a number on each one. One, two, three. Hmm. Hmm. And that's all that's in there. There's nothing left in the briefcase. Cool, let's go to the blue one! Hurry, you're about to drown! Yeah, don't worry. I, I I like the feeling of urgency here, but okay, we can't actually look at items on this one. Sorry. All okay, right. So, so it's zero, uh, two, zero, two. Well, is it though? Cause like, wait, wouldn't it be? Hang on. The filled-in square is zero. Oh yeah, you're right. So zero two. Zero, six, three? Two, six, no. three? Yeah. Zero, two, two, six, three? Yeah. yeah. All right, zero, two, six, three. Let's try it. Time to give this another shot. Yeah! <laughs> All right, let's see if these numbers work. I'll turn the key in. Hey, it looks like it's working. Hey! Yes! All right. Let's open it up. Yes! Yes! It opened! There's something missing. Looks like there's something in here. What is this? A file? If you find any documents or notes during an escape, the information contained in them will be available on the file screen. Press, uh, yeah, to open up the file screen. Okay. All right, let's see what's in this file. Let's see. Hmm. Digital root. Let's see here. Compute a digital root with the following steps. I'm sorry, is this a math question? Yes. Okay, well. Stop. It's okay. It's okay. I'm ready. First, add all the numbers in question to one another. <laughs> yeah, nothing's even happened yet. It's okay. I'm already nervous. You got me here. I, I'm very math. I did centric. math in my stream today, and I didn't look like a total idiot. It was very exciting. That's exciting. Yeah. Thank you. If you end up with something greater than a single-digit number, add the digits to one another. For instance, if you have a double-digit number, add the number in the tens place to the number in the ones place. It'll so if it's a ten, then it's it. one. Okay, got it. Yeah. Keep adding digits in this manner until you have a single-digit answer. That final single digit is your digital root. For example, the digital root of six, seven, eight would be. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. It, I am math anxious, and it just takes. Let's a minute. just break it down. So eight plus seven is fifteen. Yes. Fifteen plus six is twenty-one. Twenty-one would be three. Yes. Yeah. And there it shows the work. So yeah, that's all the digital root is. Woo. Is that Therefore, a real thing or did they make that up? It is a real thing, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. The digital root of six, seven, eight is three. For example, the digital root of one, two, three, four would be... One. Yeah! <laughs> See, it's easy. Therefore, the digital root of one, two, three, four is one. This may seem random, but trust me, it's good to know this up front. Okay. I see. So I just keep adding numbers until I get a single digit number. Oh, looks like there's something on the back of this thing. A notebook, a pen, a calculator, and a stack of key cards. Huh. This is how I would die. Looks like some key cards. There's a number written on each card. Six, seven, eight. Does that mean something? Oh. Hmm. New material's been added. So cool. we have a calculator on hand. We can open up the calculator anytime we want. Okay, cool. It can also calculate a digital root, which will be important to the progression of the story. So there you go. Easy. All right. So, what do you think 
we do here? So the key cards obviously go to that, mm -hmm. but we need to add numbers together to find which one. Do we add the numbers of the key cards together to find the digital root and find which key card we need to use? Because we well, don't have any other numbers otherwise. These cards with numbers on them. I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to use them. All right, let's slide these cards and see if they work. And... Huh? It's not working. Why? Damn it! No, no, that's right. I still have cards I haven't used. Okay. Damn it! Not again. Why did it only do one? Okay. There aren't any more cards in here. I've only got one other hint. Of course, the files. That file said something about a digital root. A digital root. The digital root, huh? What am I digital supposed to do with... Root. There's a five on that door. Do I have to get a digital root of five? But five is the digital root of five. Oh, three plus two? No, it'd be five. No, no, no. It, okay, you'll see. Okay. You'll see. I'm not really sure about this. Ah, uh, whatever. It's worth a shot. Let's see if this works. I'll just slide the cards that give me the digital root of five through the reader. And <laughs> I don't like that line of thinking. Okay, so... Okay. So we have to select three cards to equal five. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, a couple ways to make a digital root of five are 14, 23, 32, 41, and 50. Obviously, oh for a lot of those... We're not able to make them with three of these numbers. So we can make 14 or 23, really. Those yeah. are the two we should focus on first. Okay, so... And actually, we can't make 23 because we don't have enough... We don't have high enough numbers. So we want to make 14. We can't make 23, are you sure? Yeah, because 8 plus 7 plus 6 is 21. And those are the uh, biggest ones we have. Okay, you're right, you're right, yeah. you're right. So we need to make 14. Yeah, so all right. that's so... all we got to do. Um, if we did, so eight plus six is 14. Yes. Uh, eight plus three is 11. Right. And 11 plus two is 13. So you said eight plus uh, six is 14, right? Yeah. So what so if we did- add one. Seven, one, six. Oh. Uh, and that would be 14. Oh, yeah, you're right. Because 7 plus 1 is 8. Yeah. So. Hey! Bam! Okay. We solved mm. it! <laughs> Good job, Steve. <laughs> you're, you're on the right track. <laughs> it, it'll take some time to get used to. All right, I think this is going to work. There we go. That's a new noise! Huh. Did it just unlock? Well, that light was red, and now it's blue. Oh, my God, try the door! No doubt about it. There's nothing keeping me in here now. Time to go. Oh my God, go. The only door in and out of this room is right next to this weird device. Okay, okay, fine. Here we go. <laughs> you found it. You found it. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, is it, is it over? Whew. That felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. Damn. Well, I mean, the ship is still drowning, sinking. I guess. Am I in a hallway? Oh. A door. Another door. Damn this water. Ugh. Let me go. Yes, it opened. <laughs> what? What the hell? See, it looks like this Titanic. This is the inside of a ship. Well, yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally a. Uh... Wait, what the hell? A wave? Oh shit! Shit! Okay, I, I gotta get out of here. 
Sea deck. <laughs> <laughs> I love Jim Pate's voice acting. <laughs> B deck. Hurry, hurry. A deck's next. What? Oh my God. People. A lot of people. Um. Uh, um yeah. I guess it's another one of us now. Uh, oh, they're uh, Malice uh, Move. That's cool. Dancer. No, I'm not. You better get moving. Oh, uh, well, okay then. Is it silver hair? Huh? <laughs> one of us, huh? What? what? Nothing. Going up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but neither of them will open. Wait, hold on. The, the doors won't open? Come on! Aren't you coming? You gotta hurry! That's nine of us, then. All of the cards are in hand. Wait! They're gone. Just what is going on? There's an old man like a lion, a girl with pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. Huh? Uh... Huh. <laughs> 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 what was that all about? Are they just shouting sounds at each other? Uh... Ha! I like this guy. What the hell are you just standing there for? Didn't you hear him? <laughs> the doors on A deck are no good. <laughs> we gotta check the doors on B deck. Got it? Now go! I saw number four. Is that what he's talking about? Hey, man, that was dangerous. Huh? Four? Oh. This one says five. Put your watch to it? The room I woke up in had a number on the door just like that. You too, eh? My cell was the same. A number upon the door. I opened it, ran down the hallway outside, and found myself in a rather grand room full of stairs, as I suspect the rest of you. There's me too. Very casual for a like a sinking ship mm. situation. Same for me. There was a door with a number on it. Yes, we all saw the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. You think I don't know that lady? So is mad. Open. Damn it! <laughs> Fuck, it's not opening. This damn thing won't even budge. Out of my way. <laughs> what a brute. A slam from a guy that big didn't even budge it. There must be some other way. Try your watch. Just like the device next to the door in that room earlier. Why are we a robot now? It's his thoughts. Oh, the, the, sorry, yeah. The, okay. It confused me first the first time, too. <laughs> like, this that's is a him strange thinking. audio choice. This is like in his head. His head sounds very vacant. <laughs> well, it's just like a. <laughs> I know, it's just it's it's funny. It's jokes. So that means this door is probably locked, too. <laughs> but still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he gets really into it. Damn it! <laughs> this guy's great. Are there any other doors? He had scarcely taken a step when, at the top of the stairs next to an ornate clock embedded in the wall, he saw a person. It's a girl. Oh, it, it was a girl. She looked to be the same age as Junpei. He froze, unable to look away from her face. He wasn't confounded by her beauty or something equally silly. No, there was another reason he couldn't take his eyes off the girl. Junpei had seen her somewhere before. He couldn't quite remember where, but he knew. He knew he'd met her before. The girl, too, stared at Junpei, similarly stunned. Her response suggested she'd seen, seen him before as well. Uh. Huh? Oh no, not again. 
Without saying a word, Junpei walked slowly toward her. She didn't move. It was almost as though she was held in place by some sort of magic spell. As Junpei stepped onto her landing, the spell broke. No sooner had he set his foot down than the whole ship shook a second time. <sighs> the quake caught the girl unprepared and she fell. Watch out! Moving on instinct, Junpei leapt to catch her. Or so he thought. Oh. Her face was far closer than it should have been. Mere inches from his own. Yeah. He was flat on his back and she had landed squarely on top of him. The girl seemed as confused as he did, and her face suggested she still hadn't re fully recovered from seeing him. For a moment, that seemed to stretch for a very long time. They stared at each other. Sorry, I was about to choke. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> that was not for dramatic effect. The ship stopped shaking. Everything was quiet. Water could be heard from the bottom of the ship, lapping faintly at walls and ceilings, but eventually that faded as well. The silence was complete, a thick, muffling blanket. At last, the girl opened her mouth. Oh my gosh! Is that you, Jumpy? Jumpy? Sorry. Jumpy? Her words echoed through Junpei's head, and suddenly his memory returned. Uh, Akane. Why hadn't he realized it before? The girl was Akane Kurashiki. Kurashiki. I was so close. You were very close. Kurashiki. She and Junpei had been friends in childhood. They'd gone to elementary school together for six years. But what was she doing on the ship? Her soft eyes were only inches away from his own. Could feel the warmth of her... F oh, he could feel the warmth of her face. Feelings he thought long forgotten began to work their way to the surface. <laughs> <laughs> He could feel his face heating up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's the sound of your feelings rising to the surface. <laughs> At that moment, the TV turned off. Hold on. If I heard this voice talking to me from an undisclosed location, I would not have an idea in the world what it was saying. Really? I would need subtitles for sure. Oh. Okay. What? What? Can you understand That's it without voice. reading? Yeah. <laughs> This is... That guy in the gas mask! Hey, asshole! What the hell is this? Come on out here. I want to get a look at you. What do you mean to do to us? Oh, oops. I tried to lean back in the green screen. Oh, dude. No to regain. What the hell's that? <laughs> what is he talking about? Hey, there's something in my pocket. Check this out. Hey, I, I got one too. Then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? On this ship, you will find a handful of doors emblazoned with numbers. We will call them the numbered doors. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possess. 
Should you total right. the numbers on your numbered oh, bracelets? I was not right. And find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. So this thing on my arm is a bracelet. All who enter must leave? The purpose of the leave? game is simple. Okay. Yeah, all who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. Or, uh... All who enter must contribute. Yeah, yeah that was it. Yeah. Leave this ship alive. All right. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. There is no monster on both children. The swamp comes out surprised. This ship must be gone to seek. A man of fortune, right to be crowned. The famous monster fire to the town. The arms will be explored to the world. I was kidding. So this isn't the Titanic? Like, it's supposed to be a recreation of that? It's a ship. Okay. Nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. What? Whoa. It all makes sense now. bell a bell? I think it's coming from over by the stairs it's the clock telling us the time it rang nine times so nine oh. o'clock then I think it's 9 p.m. I couldn't see anything when I tried looking out the window earlier it has to be nighttime if that is the case then we would need to escape by 6 a.m. tomorrow Oh. Hey, you bastard! What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! Oh, so I should also mention, before we get too far into it, there are uh, a couple of Dangarumpa veteran uh, voice actors in this game. Oh, I remember you mentioning that. See if you can spot them. I can't. I cannot uh, do that. The guy won't stop shouting. And the others. And the others. <sighs> Let me know if you hear anybody. Okay, I'll try. Hmm. <laughs> she might sound like Ooh. one. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. I have way too many questions. <laughs> Who is Zero? What's the nonary game? What's it for? Is he some nut job just doing this to mess with us? Or does he have some other purpose? And why pick me to be part of this insane game? And the others? Why are these eight people here? And the most confusing of them all. Why is Akane here? I haven't seen her since elementary school. Why her? Why now? Coincidence? No. There's no way. There has to be a reason. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be. Very well. Standing around here won't do us any good. Best we get moving, don't you think? Get moving? Are you planning to open the numbered doors? Hey, wait! But don't tell me you're actually gonna do what this, this zero says. The answer kind of sounds like... No, no, that's not what I mean. I'm saying let's find another way. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. We... what? Where have we not looked? Everyone searched A-Deck already, right? Yeah, we were kind of in a rush though, so we probably missed some things. Why don't we check out the lower floors first? We should see how deep this place goes. I can work with that. So just, Silver sounds like someone. Yeah, I'll just tell you. Uh, Silver is uh, Taka's voice actor from okay. the first game. Yeah. Who also voiced uh, Monotaro in uh, V3. Yeah. 
His name's uh, Sean Chiplock, I think. So I would say go. Silver, Lion, and uh, Akane. No, Dancer. Those are my three guesses. Well, there's only two. Oh. And I just gave you one. Just I'll point kidding. Out, I'll point out the next one. Okay. But yeah, because I don't want to distract too much from what they're actually saying. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> In zero. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! That is uh, Wendy Lee, who does the voice of uh, Mew and uh, Akane in huh. VR2. That's funny. So, yeah. So pink hair. Yeah, so two Danganronpa voice actors. That's cool. Everyone I said was wrong. Hell? It's completely submerged. Damn. If the water level keeps rising like this, we're all going to drown. No, I don't believe that's something we have to worry about. See? The water's not flowing. That means the origin of the water has been stopped. Perhaps this Zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight door lower down. He said that our time limit was nine hours. In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. We were saying we won't sink till then. Well, that may be a little too optimistic. No point to wishful thinking. I like how the prince That's is like... Depressing. <laughs> If we don't determine a way to advance from this point, we are stuck on A deck and C deck. Looks that way. Hey, hold on. How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusions? We might find something there. Ah, you're right. I think we should look at the metal doors by the big staircase, too. They're pretty suspicious. No numbers on either door. And I don't see an authentication device either. Nope. It's locked. This one, too. Damn, none of the doors are opening. Hey, guys, over here. There's another door behind the stairs. <sighs> this one doesn't open either. We'll see about that. Hey, old man, give me a hand. Using force, I see. Let's give it a try. You must think... It won't budge. You must think steel doors are a lot flimsier than they are. Yeah. Wow. He's Did used to like hollow just doors. Start shouting out of nowhere. You almost gave me a heart attack, you know. Dancer's pissed. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying. It's very well made. Idiots. Try using your brain first. Idiots. Huh? Take a closer look. There's keyhole. a keyhole. Right. It's obvious what we need to open this door. <clears throat> the key, huh? <laughs> you got a problem? No, I just really doubt we'll find a key that easily. <sighs> What's this? Dancer is snooty. She is. There's a mark on it. D does it mean something? Hey, look! Over here, too! Oh, I thought that was a doorknob. So oh, the no. circle with a dot is the mark, right? It's a mark, yeah. Yeah. More doors. I think they're elevators. There's an inverted triangle button by them. May as well try pressing it. Huh. Nothing. Maybe the power isn't on. Or we need to do something with this card reader. And there's a strange mark here, too. What is this? It looks like a lowercase h with a dash drawn across the upper stem of the h. This is the symbol of Saturn. It's an astrological symbol. Then the mark on the other door. I think that was the sun symbol. We saw the same symbols on A deck. You did? I don't remember that. A deck, huh? huh. I, I haven't been there, that. so. I so you're know. wrong. <laughs> Look, I like I how like, those arrows bouncing on your head. I like Junpei's just like, A deck, huh? I haven't been there, so. I wouldn't know. Like all mopey. Like, nobody took me to A deck. <laughs> Everybody's been to A deck but me. Hey guys. Hey thanks for guys. remembering me. Well, thanks for noticing. <laughs> we may as well check again since we're talking about it. Let's just keep going between the decks. There. The two doors next to the stairs. The one on the left had a keyhole with a similar symbol engraved on it. She's right. It, it looks similar to what we saw downstairs. This is an Earth symbol. 
The horizontal line symbolizes the equator, and the vertical one represents the prime meridian. I see. Hmm. hmm. The ceiling. Metal plates. Huh. It's as if it's covering something up. Perhaps it was a dome of some kind. I wish we could get out through there. Be realistic. We need a lot of explosives to open that up. The windows too. Huh. They're all covered. In it's other all been words, bolted shut. <laughs> it's a lot like Hope's Peak Academy. Interesting. Oh, I thought you were doing that. I was like, John, what are you doing? Traps. No. All the exits go nowhere. Well, I'm sure they go somewhere. We just can't open them. You don't know that. For all we know, they just open into walls or take us in circles. No. I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, what point would there be? And we can open them. Well, two of them at least. Oh, you mean the numbered doors. Hey, wait a minute. I think I said this earlier, but I don't think we should do that. We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. May as well give it a shot. Can't stay here forever. Yes, I'm in favor as well. No, I'm totally against this. But shouldn't we at least try? We don't know what'll happen. We should stay here. We don't have time for that. In eight and a half hours, this ship is going to sink. Uh, uh. Hey, shut up! Ooh, Junpei is spicy. Before we try and decide where we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. What's that? We need to exchange information. We don't know anything about each other. I want to know who you guys are. Who you are, where you came from, why you ended up here. Don't tell me you aren't curious, too. I agree. I think Jumpy is right. Jumpy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name is Junpei. We're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school. Wait, stop! Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. Zero's probably watching us right now. Hmm. What are you gonna do if he's listening in? Oh, would that be bad? Hell yeah, it would! We don't know how much that bastard knows about us. Maybe he just picked a bunch of random people to kidnap. If that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. If Zero knows who we are, he could go after our families. Maybe he'd tell us he had them, get us to do stuff, you know? But we still need to know what our names are. It's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names. All right, then why don't we have code names? Code names? Yeah, we'll each pick something. Like, I'll be seven. Seven? Why are you seven? Because this bracelet number says seven. <laughs> oh, Why I do you it. think? Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, I'm going to be Santa. Any of you chumps know Japanese? No? Oh. Well, sun means three. So, I'll be Santa. You know, like Santa Claus. Fits, don't you think? Just be then three. Your bracelet number. Yeah, that's it's actually got really a three cute. on it. Good job, Grandpa. Very well then. I'll go next, shall I? My bracelet number is one. Given Lie that, one. I think Ace seems appropriate. I'll be Lotus then. As I'm sure you all know, it has eight petals. Oh right. Yeah, Duh. totally knew that. Of course, Lotus eight petals. Got it. I think I think to myself every day. Ah, the lotus has eight petals. My favorite as I flower. As I in first grade. The lotus with its eight marvelous petals. As we were taught to recite daily in kindergarten. The lotus has eight petals. <laughs> That's all you <laughs> chanted in first yeah. grade. Other kids did the ABCs. We did the lotus has eight petals <laughs> over and over again. That's amazing. Which means, of course, that my bracelet number is... Eight. 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 I would appreciate it if you would call me Snake. My bracelet number is two. Since Ace has chosen cards, then I choose dice. Snake eyes, clearly. Which is particularly relevant given that I am blind. Oh no. I didn't you know that. Snake. I knew it. 
Oh no, I didn't know that Wait, when I made my joke earlier. I thought he was, what? I said, I like how he's being like, mm, mm. Oh. Because I thought he was being snooty. He is, he, he is kind of snooty though. Okay, well that, I did not but, know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't think anybody interpreted it like that. I hope not. I didn't interpret holy it like cow. that. Holy yeah. cow. I would never do something. Well, you didn't know. <laughs> how are you supposed to know? <laughs> he, he looks very pleased with himself otherwise. He does. If you don't know he's blind, he just looks smug. <laughs> I would say oh the same God. thing. All right. I was like, well, I want to pop his dick wide when I first played this. I was like, oh, look at, look at Mr. I don't open my eyes over there. <laughs> All chuffed with himself. <laughs> All right. I want to be Clover. You know, like a four leaf Clover. Good luck, right? All right. My number's five. So my code name is going to be why have one? It's not like there's any point to it now. I mean, we all know your name already. You're Junpei. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. I still want a code name. I know. <laughs> I want to know what he was going to choose. Then you should call me by my name, too. Because, I mean, it doesn't seem... It doesn't seem fair to Jumpy. You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us his. Uh, uh, What's your bracelet number? It's six. All right then, uh, why don't we call you June? June? Yeah, you know, it's the, it's the sixth month of the year. So you're June. Jumpy? Are you good with that? Uh, yeah. Okay then. Okay. So this is how everyone okay. breaks down. One is Ace. Two is Snake. Three is Santa. Four is Clover. Five is me. Six is June, seven is seven, and eight is Lotus. That means eight of us have revealed our bracelet numbers. The only one left is... That glasses guy with hair like a bird's nest. I forgot about him. I, uh, I did too. You haven't said a thing so far, have you? <laughs> so he's number nine. What number are you? Mm. Hey! Talking to you. Isn't it obvious? There are nine people here. And you know who numbers one through eight are. I'm the only one left. So you're nine? Yeah. What's your code name? Uh, code name? What do you want us to call you? We all made up names. You should too. I don't know. Yeah, weren't you one. listening? Why not? Because I am not going to stay here with you. You've got some sort of plan? I do. Yeah? What's that? You sure you want to know? Yeah. All right. Let me show you. I'm going to do this. <laughs> hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? Stay back. Ah. If you get any closer... I'll cut her open. Uh, yeah. So that's a weird right. move to make. Clover, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell are you trying to do? I told you. This is my plan. What are you gonna do to her, you sick son of a bitch? Don't worry. I'm not gonna do anything to her. If she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. <laughs> Slowly. That's right. Just follow me. Nine sucks. Here. Verify. Uh. The left. Look on your left. Do you see the device on the wall? Place your hand on the scanner panel. The round part. What if I don't? Are you an idiot? What do you think? I could slit your throat right now. I'll kill you if I have to. All I need is your bracelet. Just do it! Do it now! Uh, okay, I'll do it. Like this. So that's how it works. He called that round part of the device the scanner panel. If we put our left hand on so he's done this our bracelet before. number gets entered into the device. Then... 
Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Door five. But why does this guy know so much about how this thing works? It's like he knows exactly what to do. Good. Good. You're done. Next? You, right? You're the one with the number one bracelet, right? Yes. I am. So? Then you're next. Just verify your number like this little brat did. <sighs> what are you doing? Do it! Don't you care what happens to her? Okay, okay, just calm down. I'm coming over. Now, verify. All right, this is what you wanted, right? Now the device has both Clover and Ace's numbers. Four and one. Four plus one is five. It's the same as the number written on the door, but it won't open yet. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. One more person. If what Zero said is true, he needs one more person. Who? Who does he need? Get back! Himself. Himself, yeah. No! Farther! More than that! Go all okay. the way back! This makes more sense. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Uh, don't tell me. Clover's four and Ace is one. Added to the ninth man's nine. Four plus one plus nine is fourteen. And the digital root of fourteen, one plus four, is five. In other words... <laughs> Thank God you were all so cooperative. Now I can get out of this nightmare. Good! I don't need you anymore! <laughs> Wait! Here! She's all yours! <laughs> okay. Have a good one, guys. I'm going off ahead now. Well then, goodbye! Clover! Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Damn it! That bastard! Open, damn it! He's still trying to open the steel Shit. doors. It won't budge. Do you hear something? Like what? Like some sort of beeping. You're right. I can hear it too. What is it? Why isn't it stopping? God damn it! You... you lied! Lied? This wasn't supposed to happen! This is wrong! This is wrong! What is happening in there? Open the door, please! I'm begging you! Help me! Please get me out of here! Get me out of here! Ah, God damn it! Why? Why won't it work? Engaged? Is it because it's occupied? Uh, oh my God, oh my God! There's no time left! Listen, I was lied to! He lied to me! He put me in here! It was him! He killed me! It was him! A beep? I love how she was like... Did that thing just make that sound? <laughs> um... The display changed from engaged to vacant. Let's see if we can open it. Okay. Well, it registered my bracelet number, but it won't open with one person. We need at least two more people. So eight and two. Oh. I wish it wouldn't do this. 
Is it just trying to help you? No, it, it showed what I've picked previously. Oh. But I started a new file. No. Oh, well. I've never picked Snake and Seven. Yeah, what do you what do you want to do? We can pick Ace and Lotus, Snake and Seven, or Santa and June. Just um, something that's uh, nine. Since I said eight before, well, I said eight and two, and I was wrong. Hmm. Um, let's do Snake and Seven. Okay. Snake Seven, you think you could give me a hand here? Hmm. <sighs> Five plus two plus seven equals 14. The digital root of 14, one plus four equals five. He's gonna do that every time, just so you know. This should do it. Joyce. Now we just need to pull the lever on the side. You guys ready? I'm gonna open it. I like that it kind of hesitates. Yeah. Oh my gosh, oh my is that God. blood splattered? Good God. Whoa, that's... Pretty bad. Uh oh. What are we about to see? Uh oh. Up. Ah! June, uh, uh, are you okay? What the hell? Where'd this fever come from? Uh. All right. Okay. Uh, let's just rest for a minute. Okay. Uh, you think you can walk? Here we go. How are you feeling? Are you all right? Why? Why did this happen? Why did this happen? Do any of you know what the fuck is going on here? Who's Zero? What's this nonary game? Come on! Anybody? Anything? What the hell is going on? What are we doing here? <laughs> It's 10 o'clock then. That means it's been an hour since Zero's little announcement. Fuck! I've had enough of this crap! How long are we gonna pussyfoot around like this? We've only got eight hours until this time limit Zero was going on about is up. Let's get going already! Go! Go! No, I refuse. I'm not gonna end up like him. Him? You mean the ninth man? Of course, who else? Blood. Oh. Ugh. 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 Blood. Ugh. Blood and pieces of flesh. That's no way for a person to die. Yeah. I think he just screwed up. He probably set off some sort of trap and that killed him. I'm not gonna screw up like that. I'm getting out of here alive. <laughs> <laughs> What's so goddamn funny? Oh, my apologies. You were just uh, so very confident. I couldn't help myself. Wow. What the fuck? I think you've mistaken the situation. Huh? The ninth man's death. It had nothing to do with the trap. Or at least not the sort of trap you imagine it did. Then? He broke one of Zero's rules. That was why he died. Quite simple if you think about it. Huh? You still don't... Ugh. All right. How about you take a moment and think back to what Zero said? Specifically, what did he say about the number of people? He said only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. Right? And just one person went And through. after that? You've forgotten the relevant part. What did Zero say? <sighs> that... <sighs> that everyone who verified had to go. Yeah, I wish it wouldn't show this. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute, right? I think it was something like that. Whatever it was, it, it means that groups of less than three or more than five can't go through. That is correct. A gold star for you, Junpei. The ninth man, however, broke that rule. He tried to pass through a numbered door by himself. That was why he was executed. 
And Zero's watching us from somewhere. Making sure we don't break any rules. Oh, I'm not so sure of that. Why not? Because this execution system is entirely automatic. You didn't notice? There's no need for him to monitor us. What do you mean? Very well. I see it must be me who tells you. <laughs> we got a new Biakia over here. Yeah, right? I've All waited right. long enough, I suppose. I had hoped Zero might spare me the trouble, but that seems increasingly unlikely. Do you know something? Well, I know a great many things, but yes. What is it you know? Here. A card? What does it say? See for yourself. Come on now, what's the point of giving me this? Give me that. Huh? The hell is, is it this? Braille? <laughs> I see. This is Braille. Sorry, guys, I, I can't read this. Here, have it back. Okay, that was fun. What's so important about that card? <laughs> I found it in my pocket. I can only assume it is a message from Zero. From Zero? A message? Wh what does it say? Calm down now. No need to panic. You don't need to force me. I'll read it. <clears throat> Bracelet number two. Since you are not blessed with sight, I shall bless you, and only you, with information. I shall tell you of the function of the red, of the dead, and of the bracelet. The red is the recognition device. It will verify your number. Beside every number door, you will find a red. The dead is the deactivation device. It does exactly what it says. Once you have passed through the number door, you must use the day to stop the detonator in your bracelet. But perhaps you are wondering, what does this detonator detonate? I am afraid this might be something of a surprise. I have placed a small bomb inside of you and people who you are about to meet. You swallowed it while you were unconscious. I have no doubt. By the time you read this note, the bar will have passed your stomach and found it way to your small intestine. In other words, you would be unable to regurgitate it. I suggest you do not try. I suggest you do not try. Yeah, so that's how the guy exploded. Jeez. I thought it would be from his bracelet. Bracelet on your left hand contains a detonator. Think of it as a remote fuse, or timer, that's gone in your body. There is only one condition to call it detonate. That condition is that you enter a number door. Once you have done so, the timer will activate, no matter who you may be. You will have 81 seconds. What's the digital root of 81? Nine! Oh my oh. god! <laughs> really likes nine. He really does. Out of that time, the detonator has not been deactivated. It will send a signal to the bomb in your body, instructing it to explode. In order to deactivate the detonator, every person who verified their number at the red must also verify their numbers at the dead. Once all numbers have been verified by the dead, you need only pull the lever at its side, and the countdown will cease. Anyone who does not verify their number at the red will find themselves unable to verify their number at the dead. That is to say, if you had passed through a number door without first verifying your number at the red, in 81 seconds, you will be dead. You must also keep in mind that the number of doors will close automatically after 9 seconds have passed. So long as the door is open, the day will not function. You will do well to remember this. Lastly, we have discussed how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from this ship. Two, or hardly reaches zero. In other words, 
once the base was taken outside the convoy, the ship, or the pegs that it now is heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. There is no other way to remove your bracelet. No bravo. Do you attempt to force it off? When you say go to the air, the bomb would in you will immediately explode. This is all the information which I can impart to you. How you choose to use it is for you to decide. If used wisely, you can eliminate those who might be a danger to you. For a time, you would be able to control your fate. I wish you the best of luck. So it's saying, only those who verify their numbers at the red can pass through the numbered doors. Teams can't add or subtract people after they're scanned in. The reds, deads, and bracelets enforce the rules. They're judge, jury, and executioner. Yeah, basically. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shit! A fucking bomb! Come out! Come out, damn it! There's a bomb inside me. Oh. Nope. What made Zero think creating this horror show of a game was a good idea? All right. I'm going to ask one movie. more time. <laughs> Do any of you know anything about Zero? It looked like... What's your face was raising I, your hand. I saw him. I saw Zero when I got grabbed. I didn't see his face, though. Son of a bitch was wearing some kind of gas mask. What the hell? Come on, guys, give me something. You know, like, surprise or something? I saw that, too. I did as well. Me, too. I didn't see inside the mask, though. That mask, it was really scary. Huh? Oh, so all of our abductions were the same. We were taken from home at midnight. The person claiming to be Zero had a mask on. There was white smoke, and then each of us passed out. We woke up to find ourselves on D-Deck, in a room with a three-level bunk bed. How about you, Seven? Did the same happen to you? Oh, me? Yeah, well, mine was just like the rest of yours. Hmm. Okay, uh, that's good enough for now. It's so, a lie. I have a question. Snake and Clover, you were both kidnapped from the same room, and you woke up together. So, what's the deal with the two of you, anyway? We're siblings. Siblings? Uh, yes. Snake is my older brother, obviously. That means I'm his little sister. That okay. really so hard to understand? She is correct, of course. Are you, uh, surprised? Well, yeah, but... Why? There are other people here with connections to one another. Those two, for instance. Oh, you mean between Jumpy and me? Ah, uh, yes. You did say you were childhood friends, didn't you? Wait, you went to school together? Yeah. Lotus. Hmm. Ew. <laughs> I know. You went to well, school together? Yeah. Gross. <laughs> Junpei, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone just get off my case, okay? Yeah, it's fine. Just get off my back. <laughs> yeah. Hey. You think maybe we could figure out who Zero is this way? Yeah, you're right. You connect the dots between the victims and that leads you to the perp. Textbook stuff. Junpei, Jun, does any of this ring a bell? Huh, ring a bell? Ring a bell? Well, perhaps you <laughs> went to school with the son of a multi-millionaire. A millionaire? Son? <laughs> like that that's the part that Junpei is struggling with. Son? June's at least like a millionaire. Yeah. Junpei's like, son. He has a mom? Son? You mean they have parents? <laughs> My god. Well, someone bought this boat and set up all of this. Yeah. Well, so he'd have to have they must money. be incredibly rich. Well, we can't be sure of that. To me, this seems as though it's the work of an organization. Not an individual. Hmm. Most likely, Zero is simply the representative of a larger group. What sort of organization? 
Or it's a character that they've made up, <coughs> and they can have different people play Zero because right. gas the mask voices, and voice changer uh, changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very anonymous. Yeah. It could be a number of things: an army, perhaps, or a research group. Perhaps this is all some sort of psychological experiment. If it is, then it's a pretty fucked up experiment. Yeah. I mean, come on! A guy's dead! I don't know who the hell this Zero asshole is, but I know for sure he's gotta be pretty fucked up in the head to do all this. If this was all one guy, then he's got some serious issues. If it's ten guys, they've all got serious issues. I thought we were finished with that topic. But oh my God, what should we, we do? For so long. We should talk it through. Oh my God, enough. All we're doing is talking. Talking won't solve anything. It can't help us find our way out of here. You really I sure that. you want to just sit yeah. around? Yeah, they do little animations sometimes. That's cool. We've only got I seven like and a half hours left. We already wasted an hour and a half of our nine hours. You're right. Very well, then. There's only one way for us to proceed. Sure not gonna be fun running around knowing we gotta jump when Zero says jump. Well, it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing. <laughs> Thanks to Snake's card, at least we have some idea of how this all works. Correct. And so long as we all follow the rules, we should, uh, we will most likely be all right. But... But what? Who's going to go in which door? Oh, no, because it means they have to That's separate. Right. We can't have any more than five people in one door. All eight of us can't go in the same door. Then it would seem we will have to split up. Could they do four and then Wait. four? I'm telling you now, there is no way in hell that I'm going into door five. Come on now, don't be selfish. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. If I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. And we were doing so well. Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. Oh, Santa, not you too. Hey man, I just bought these shoes. If you think right. I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him, you got another thing coming. What the hell, man? <laughs> what the hell, man? You've got another wow! think. Huh? You've got another think coming? I know, I saw that too. I tried to brush over it so you wouldn't see it. Uh, I tried no. to brush it I under the, it. sweep it under the rug. Can't hide it from me. <laughs> Eagle eye over here. <laughs> Weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah. So? Doesn't mean yeah. I wanted to go so. into door five. Doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. I like how he's... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, He he's constantly like... What do you his, mean? Yeah, yeah, he's constantly like touching his earlobe with his fingers. Or I don't know what he's doing, running his hand through his hair or... Yeah, he's probably like scratching his ear. Or, yeah. You know. <coughs> oh, God. Fine, I'll go into door five. I can't go in there alone, though. Anyone else willing to come with me? I'll go. What? Don't well, worry. Well, does it matter? Y'all need You'll to do the fine. math. We may part now. But I'm certain we'll meet again later. How do you know that? Because I do. That's not an answer! If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door five. What am I going to do with you? There's nothing you have to do. If I join you, the problem is solved, correct? Seven is seven, and snake is two. And if you add clovers four in my one, the digital root will be five. 7 plus 2 plus 4 plus 1 is 14. The digital root of 14, 1 plus 4 is 5. Oh, it works perfectly. <laughs> the four of us can go into door 5. Wait, what about the other four? What's their digital root going to be? Lotus, Santa, June, and me. Our bracelet numbers are 8, 3, 6, and 5. 8, 3, 6, 5. What would our digital root be? Hold on. Uh, so it's. I'm trying not to look at the answer, so I can just come up with it. I'll, I'll figure out a solution to this. I think I know what to do about it. So eight plus three is eleven. Six plus five is eleven. So that's four. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, I think I think I can go into the menu and like reset the memory, okay. so I won't do this anymore. Okay. We'll do that for next video. Six plus five is twenty-two. So the digital root of twenty-two, two plus two equals four. It's four. Add up our four bracelet numbers and the digital root is four. Then we can go into door four. Yeah. Huh. That worked out well. So the team assignments will be like this. Seven, Snake, Clover, and Ace. They would go through door five. Lotus, Santa, June, and me will go through door four. Are these really the teams I want? Beyond door five is what remains of the ninth man. I never want to see that thing again, but something's telling me that it'd be a good idea to examine the corpse, even just a little closer. Of course, if I went through door five, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. I could bring June with me through door five, but that means she'd have to see the body in there. I don't want to put her through that. Should I stay silent and go through door four? Or should I stop them and insist on door five? All right then. It seems we've reached a conclusion. Shall we go? I'm going through door five. We're over there too, right, Snake? The door's not going anywhere. Slow down. No, but I... your time is. Which door? Okay. Um... I think this is actually a good place to end the video. Okay, cool. And maybe talk a little bit about what we just saw. Okay. But this is a choice. You can choose to go through door five or through door four. And you can see I've done both. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, so what do you think of uh, 999 so far? Uh, they still do the annoying over explanation of everything, yeah. <laughs> which is gonna take time for me to not be super impatient with that. Um, but I liked I liked the beginning and how rushed it felt, like how. Um, yeah, it does, it does. They do just kind of throw you in there. Yeah, I like that. I like things like that. I don't like slow starts. <laughs> it's not a slow start, yeah. Yeah. Like they, there, there's, you know, you wake up in the, in the room, and then the water's flooding, and it's got that like, boom, boom, bam, boom, 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 like you yeah. know, like you gotta escape now. You gotta die. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and then you get out, and the water's flooding, and people are running around. You see them all at once, and then you know, then zero we... comes over the intercom and tells you the rules, and then. The, the ninth man pulls out a knife and does his little thing and then yeah, he explodes. Yeah, that was and, crazy. Yeah, there's lots of action. I'm interested to know what he meant by he lied to me. There have been some fishy things said so far, yeah. Yeah. It seems like people know, each, like, they know different things or they know more than what they're saying. Uh, was it Seven, the big guy, who was like, yeah, yeah, I was kidnapped yeah, like yeah, all of like you. Yeah, just like the rest of yours. Yeah, no. Yeah. Lie. Big ol' lie. I won't spoil anything, but I will say uh, there are a lot of secrets to discover. I figured there were. Yeah. And this math thing is much more interesting than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be like random well, puzzles it's... that just included no, math. No, no, no. Well, yeah. it's... It, yeah. I like this pattern. Well, because it... And now it, it like... The numbers represent people. Right. So you're creating teams and you can also see how people can kill each other. Yeah. Because they could be like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go through. And then just yeah. lag for nine seconds. There could be a, I mean, we've already had a scene of betrayal happen. Mm-hmm. Which is interesting because it's like, that could happen again. Yeah. You know? And maybe it's not some in someone's best interest to work together with everyone. Yeah. So, exactly. Yeah. Especially as secrets come out and people get to know each other better yeah but uh cool i'm so, excited so this was the first episode of 999 i know that we're a little quieter than we are during the dangarampa playthroughs just because we don't voice act all of the lines yeah we can't be quite as involved but the escape room segments will be um there'll be a lot of us talking in those yeah and i'm great. excited for us to get to the next one um, so what, just curious, for next video, what door are you gravitated for, uh, towards? 
I want to go to five because I want to look at the corpse and see what we can find out. Um, and I want to know how people would respond to an upset like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I also, if I were actually in this situation, I'd be like, yeah, four is fine, you know? So, I don't know. How exciting do you want things to be? Uh, I would recommend that we go through door four. Okay. Because I was thinking like it'd be kind of like it might be fun to be like door five. Oh, we're just gonna do everything crazy. It's you not. Know? It's not. It's not a big deal oh. if you go through door five. Okay. It's not like they go like what? What the fuck? Yeah, that's what I was expecting. Yeah, yeah. It's not oh. like that. Okay. But yeah, uh, let us know what you guys think so far in the comments. We tried to make part one long enough so where you could get a good feel of the game and good chunk. Everything could be introduced pretty, pretty well. Okay, so uh, that does it for this episode. We'll see you guys tomorrow for part two. Yeah. All right. Think critically. <laughs>